today I am going to be doing a very crazy cat lady thing and creating cat clothes. I don't know how to really sew. It's not a thing that I can do. It's not a talent I possess. Um, but recently, Raglan <laughs> underwent a bit of a, um, a quarantine haircut. Oh, are you already upset, you naked boy? No! I <laughs> oh, you're not looking forward to this, are you? So I have a few things that I was either going to just kind of donate for spare fabric because I can't really resell them and especially now it's not really a time to resell things and most of the shops where you would normally donate clothes are closed and not taking donations so I figured I'm going to repurpose the fabric into cat attire and we'll see how that goes it could be a horrible disaster I'm not using patterns I have a little travel size sewing kit so uh, enjoy enjoy this journey <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry in advance. So the first thing that needs to happen obviously is we need our tools <laughs> So this is the mini kit that I bought on Amazon. It's um, I mean, it's a travel size sewing kit, so it's not really meant to create clothing. I don't have a sewing machine. I don't have skills Aww. so we're just gonna work with that the other thing that we need are clothes that i can cut up and try to piece together into something for him so i have these kind of maroon tights that i got when i was maybe 16 and have held on to them ever since even though i haven't worn them in a couple of years Ooh, do you like these and I'm hoping maybe I can figure out a way to turn it into some kind of like beanie for him just because it's a stretchy material so if I like cut out little ear holes maybe it'll oh he doesn't like some kind of like scarf I don't know I think it's your color I think it makes you look really dashing kind of matches not matches but it complements his eyes he doesn't want anything to do with this so the other thing, which is maybe a bit, <laughs> bit strange, but I've never actually worn these. These are like I Heart Scotland pants. These don't fit me. I, I have a much larger behind than that. However, they may fit the cat if they're taken in a little bit. I'm just hoping that like this side will kind of, his legs can go through here and he can have a lovely Scottish derriere situation going on. I'm gonna attempt to just like take that in there? I don't know. We'll see if it works. Now the only other thing that I think I could reasonably make him that wouldn't take 500 years and also is within my capabilities with a travel sewing kit is some kind of cape thing. So I have these shorts which I got a long time ago and I don't think fit me anymore um, from Primark. Yeah, they're Primark shorts. <laughs> Um, or no, H&M. They're H&M short. And I feel like I really like this pattern and this material is really light and flowy. It's very summery. So I feel like it would make a very nice kind of like back cape thing for him. So I'm going to attempt to do something like that. And I feel like for, for shorts, there's a lot of material here. So if I mess up, I can just go to the other leg. Those are the three things that I'm going to attempt to do. I'm going to try to make him some Scotland pants, or trousers, shorts, um, because it's summer and I'm going to try to make him some kind of beanie and I want to make him some kind of cape thing. So see how that goes. So the first thing I'm going to try to make, oh there you are, perfect, find me his beanie. So I'm going to go ahead, I don't know, can I measure your head? Do I need to measure your head? I mean that seems sort of wide enough. I don't know, should I just cut it and we'll see? I'll just cut it and we'll see. Oh, we're cutting up clothes. Is that long enough? Also, I got these scissors in a, um, like, he's trying to knock down the camera. I got, whoop. I got these scissors in a stationary subscription kit. So I'm not sure what they're technically for, but they cut really good. Wow, look at that beautiful hemline. <laughs> also, <laughs> well, these are very hairy. So 
So I'm going to turn them inside out. I feel like if I cut him, I don't know, that's kind of like his head. If I cut him little ear holes, how far apart are your ears? Like, hey, can I borrow you for a second? Oh, your head is so fuzzy. This may not work and I don't want to hurt you. Um, okay, let's see. Let me see, baby. No, I think your head is too... No, maybe if I cut the ear holes first. I'll cut the ear holes first and we'll see how that goes. I think I made it too short. I feel like it needs to be a bit longer. I'm a cat. This might work. This is kind of like a little beanie. So that didn't quite work out how I wanted it to. Um, I don't think he likes it. <laughs> I don't think it's very stylish. <laughs> so we could go ahead and take that off. Do you want to cheat? You want to cheat? Oh. That's what you get for being a guinea pig. <laughs> so the, the beanie is a no-go, unfortunately. I think it's just a bit too narrow for his head. And the way that his head is shaped is a lot flatter than what I thought it would be. I don't know, like a normal head, you've got enough like cranial space to fit something around it. So it doesn't, even with the ears, it just kind of sits back. So, um, so no beanie. So the second thing that is it maybe in my capabilities where I get to actually use my sewing kit is making him some Scotland trousers. So I'm not sure if I should start cutting first or sewing first. Maybe I'll cut this like entire half. Oh, 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 I've got it. If I shorten, these sides. Mm. Cut about here. <laughs> Look at this. Oh no, I did not line that up well. So the next step is actually sewing the sides together. The color of this, oh, there is a color that fits it. I think I'll go with blue instead of white. So the blues, they kind of match close enough. Now I need to figure out how to thread a needle and then actually try to sew these things closed. Oh, I don't want these all to pop out at once. Ow! Ow! Okay, a, new, a new tactic, I'm going to. It's this thing, the fact that there's a little, yep, that's smart. Making smart choices. I've heard you don't want to leave this too long because then you're gonna have like a nightmare and a half trying to keep threading it through over and over again. So I'm just gonna take it to about there. So I feel like the most important thing in this is to actually like start where it lines up the best. So if I go ahead and just like, oh wait, because it's gonna be like this. Maybe I should sew it like this. I'm gonna sew it like this. So. Oh, that's fabulous. And I'm going to just go back through like the same. Anyone can create sustainable cat clothes if you really set your mind to it. Oh no, oh. I got to the end of sewing the elastic part. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it far enough that I hopefully should be able to tie these bits into a knot. Hehe, <laughs> maybe, maybe not, maybe not. Uh, we're losing it. Okay. Well, that's what <laughs> the uh, the inside <laughs> of it looks like. Um, I mean, I don't have any excuse, really. Um, so, yeah, that's. Oh, I mean, it's close to saying Scotland. You've got it here clearly, so that's fine. Also, I feel like I'm gonna leave these little like leg flaps open right now, just so it doesn't restrict him too much. He has leg range. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this on the other side. You know, these ones weren't actually too difficult. I feel like, I mean, I say that now, he hasn't tried it on yet, but I feel like in terms of being able to reuse things that you know we that don't fit us anymore or that we can't return for some reason we've had them too long and just never wore them or wore them out or they're not in good condition besides the option to just donate 
the fabric itself, which you can do. I feel like this is a good, a good solution. Like maybe we should all make naked cats everywhere some, some clothing. So this is my uh, <laughs> final product. This was the second side, by the way. It's, it's pretty horrendous. It's, it's really bad. Um, nobody would pay for this. <laughs> the legs have been left quite, quite wide, quite open. Um, but that's a style in itself, isn't it? It's a fashionable. Um, but I also just feel like it might give him some more comfort for his legs to flap around. Um, so we're gonna give it a go. So he's not feeling up to trying on his clothes right now. So we're gonna do that. When he, he feels like uh, he wants some treats and wants to relax, I wouldn't put him in any kind of distress or situation he doesn't want to be in so we're gonna hold on to these and in the meantime we are gonna move on to having him uh his little cape situation now with a cape i feel like if i just like create a neck hole for him actually there's buttons that are here so i feel like maybe if i attach a button then he can wear it like you know at his neck and then the rest of it just kind of like drapes over him so the next step is to just kind of create this this neck but i'm i'm really afraid right now that it's too it's too short there's a piece of um elastic in here and i'm afraid it's not it's like going to hurt his throat like it's going to be too thick I don't know if I can take it out. H&M sewed it too good. Like their their level of, of stitch is just, I mean, they probably also have a machine. I'm just working at a disadvantage. That's all. Here, I feel like his neck can't be thicker than that. We're just gonna sew that here. He's, <laughs> he's not happy. I feel like we've got a weird lighting situation going on, so, um, Oh my god, I've lost the needle. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, well I found the button, but I've lost the needle. Oh, okay, we found it, we're good. The light is doing really weird things, I'm sorry. But I'm going to re-thread this needle. You liking your clothes? Is it going okay? You impressed? Not so much. Me neither. Are you disappointed? Me too. <laughs> He's just here for the thread. <laughs> he doesn't even care about the clothes. He's like, just, just give me that yarn. Just give me that thread. <coughs> right, so we want this pattern on the outside, so that means I want the button to be about here. Okay, I'm just gonna keep like sewing in and out of the buttonholes. I don't know if that's technically how this works. Probably not. So I've tied that together. That's, that's my button. And then I just need to cut like a hole here so that the button has a hole to go through. I've done that. I've created like a hole within the elastic. I think it's big enough for the button. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Cat, you are gonna be so excited. This is a cape. It's a cat cape. Oh, are you ready? I don't think you're ready for this fashion. For this fashion. Oh, I don't want this to be too tight. Is this too tight? Is this okay? Oh, 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 fabulous. Oh my gosh. This is a lovely color on you. You have to show. Oh, this is a lovely color on you. So this kind of look like Doctor Strange. You've got, oh, oh. Wow, I feel like lengthwise, this is actually just right. I feel like the fact that the neck is so thick, it kind of, kind of looks very regal. This is the pattern. That's how it looks. Okay. How do we like it? Can you give us a twirl? Do I treat? Oh, oh, the drama. No, that's not the way that goes. That is not the way that goes. Oh no, oh no. 
That's not how that goes. New method. He likes cat sticks, so I'm gonna try. You want a stick? What? Meat stick. Tina, eat the food. Come here. Come here. Oh. Oh, Regal boy. Oh, so fancy. Can I, can I fix it? There we go. Oh, beautiful. Oh, gorgeous. <laughs> I mean, hot couture. This is style. This is fashion. I feel like people, people would buy their cats like that kind of looking cape, surely, right? Do you want it off? Are you not happy? You don't seem very happy. You seem like you're just tolerating it. <laughs> you're just looking for more treats. Like, I just showed up for the treats. Oh, fancy boy. Well, I'm sorry to report that the um, I Heart Scotland pants are unfortunately a no-go. He really doesn't like them. He was just not happy, so I'm not gonna make him go through that. Just for my enjoyment and anyone else's. I cut him a tail hole, um, but it's not his thing. So, um, maybe your cat will be fine with pants. Um, mine was not, and as soon as he starts to make noise or like does a thumper kick, I'm just like, mm -mm, no, we're, we're not playing that game. So, no go on the pants, but I am very proud of my ability to uh, to repurpose the pants. It was kind of a one out of three items were a success. I think the cape was good. I don't think he was a big fan of the cape, but he looked fabulous in it. So I think that was also the least stressful item that I could put him in. I think anything else that has to like go around his legs or that you're having to like fit his head into it just it was not a good time thanks for watching this video if you want to see more content like this be sure to like and subscribe i am sorry that you didn't get to see him in every outfit um but his well-being and welfare is priority numero uno but in the future maybe i'll make him more capes i am not opposed to the idea of getting some material and looking into comfortable creative ways to clothe him or maybe i'll make him some toys i feel like that's the other thing i should do with this is make him make him some things to take his anger at the world out on because every cat needs that so but yeah thanks again for watching and stay safe and talk to you soon